Assalamu alaikum to all my brothers and sisters in Islam. This video is for the DMV Islam page and for anyone else who wants to give it a give it a look. Alhamdulillah, the praise is to God. Uh, the topic today I want to talk about is the term that's being used called fake Muslims. You know, some Muslims are calling other Muslims, I guess, fake Muslims. Me personally, I don't know exactly what a fake Muslim is. I just have to use my assumption. I assume that when you call someone a fake Muslim, you're talking about a Muslim who commits, let's say, sins and does haram, forbidden things. They do these things in the open. And you see these things and then you say, oh, that's a fake Muslim. So I, I assume that's what a fake Muslim is. Like, let's say, okay, you see a sister in the street. She's a Muslim, but she's damn near naked. And you see her and you say, man, that's a fake Muslim. You know, or a brother, you know, he 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 chilling in front of the carry out with a girlfriend and a blunt in his hand. And I guess you see that and you say he's a fake Muslim. I assume that's what it is. I don't know for sure, but that's what I assume uh what a fake Muslim is when you see a Muslim doing something wrong in the open for everyone to see. I assume that's what a fake Muslim is. First, we all grow in the deen. I grew in the dean, you're going to grow in the dean. Before I was very immature and I used to say things that were incorrect. May Allah forgive us. Calling someone a fake Muslim, you know, is incorrect. That's not a correct term to say. Uh, you shouldn't call someone a fake Muslim and we'll go and we'll get into that. Okay, first of all, if a person says, Ashadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasulu, if they say the shahada, the declaration of faith, that there is nothing worthy of worship except Allah, and Muhammad is the messenger and servant of Allah, if they say this and they believe this in their heart, they are Muslims. We can't say they're fake Muslims just because we see them doing the wrong things. That doesn't make you a fake Muslim. It just doesn't. That doesn't make you a fake Muslim. Even if the brother is committing sins in the open for everyone to see. The sister is committing sins in the open for everyone to see. As long as they believe, they are Muslims. SubhanAllah, they are, they are Muslims. We can't say that they are fake Muslims. Now, there are things that take you out of Islam, but that's another subject for another time. I'm just going to focus on this. So if you see a Muslim sister in the street and she's not covered and, you know, She's revealing her beauty. She's not obeying Allah. And you see her on Facebook with these, uh, trying to basically make herself look sexy and attractive. And she's not covered. You can't say she's a fake Muslim. Now she's getting sins. So sisters, for you on Facebook, stop tagging your pictures. And men are seeing these things. For every man that sees you, that's a sin. So try to, inshallah, make dua to Allah to help you put forth some kind of effort. So that you can stop doing that. Because I love you. You're my sister in Islam. But that's a very dangerous thing that you're doing. You know, I want good for you. You're my sister. And please, you know, that's 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 not good. And that's not working out in your favor. And But you can't say that the sister is a fake Muslim. You can't call her a fake Muslim. Just because she does that. She's not a fake Muslim. She's a Muslim. Just because you see some brother with a kufi on his head. A blunt in his mouth. Liquor in his other hand with his girlfriend slap her on the, slapping her on the butt or whatever. You can't say he's a fake Muslim. You know, he's committing sins. He's committing sins openly. But you can't call him a fake Muslim. These things do not make you a fake Muslim. Now, when a Muslim does something wrong and they try to say that it's okay, this is a problem. Let's say you have a, a brother and a sister and they're committing fornication together. And then they say that this is okay. There's nothing wrong with this. This is fine. That's a problem. They have entered kufr. You have entered disbelief. Because you're saying something that Allah has forbidden. You're saying it's, you're saying it's okay. That's a problem. That's a problem. You can't do that. But if a brother and sister are, are, are committing a sin. But they're not, they know that it's wrong. And they, they believe it's wrong. They know it's wrong and they believe it's wrong. Then... This is not disbelief. This is just a, a wrong thing. This is just a sin. But it doesn't make them fake Muslims, you know. But if you're saying something that is forbidden, haram, and you're saying it's halal, lawful, it's okay, 
that's kufr, that's disbelief. We're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to commit sins, period. I'm not, you're not, none of us are. We're not allowed to sin. The only time a person is allowed to sin is when they are forced to do it. Like Allah speaks in the Quran about the women. Basically, if they're forced into prostitution, if they're forced into prostitution, Allah's Ar-Rahim, the most merciful, Allah does not charge them for that because they are forced to sin. They are forced to do it. So if you're forced to do a sin, you're not a sinner. And let me just end with this. Do not judge people. Do not judge people and write people off. You see this, you know, sister doing the wrong things. Maybe she's doing the wrong things now, but inshallah she'll change. But don't write people off. You see a sister doing some wrong things, and you see a brother doing some wrong things, you can't write them off and close their book. You don't know what Allah is going to do with them. You don't know what Allah is going to do with the person. Maybe they're a sinner today. Tomorrow, inshallah, they'll be righteous people. You know, you don't know what Allah is going to do. You don't. So don't ever think that you, you know, this person a fake Muslim or you don't know what Allah is going to do. Allah says in the Quran, and I'm reading from the Quran, Allah says, And whosoever repents and does righteous good deeds, then verily he repents towards Allah with true repentance. Alhamdulillah. And then we go to a hadith of the Prophet. The Prophet says in a hadith, I swear by Allah, there is no God but He. One of you may perform the deeds of the people of paradise to there is but an arm's length between you and it when that which is written will outstrip him so that he performs the deeds of the people of the hellfire. And one of you performs the deeds of the people of hellfire to there is nothing but an arm's length between him and it. Then what is written for him will overtake him so that he performs the deeds of the people of paradise and enters it. So basically this hadith is saying, you may have someone who's righteous, who goes to Jummah, prays, he does everything Islam, but subhanAllah, Allah wrote for him that he's going to be in hellfire. So eventually he stops doing righteous deeds and he eventually starts doing evil deeds and, and he enters the hellfire. A'udhu Billah, we seek refuge in Allah from the hellfire. Then, uh, then the hadith says, the hadith continues, the prophet says in the hadith, you may have a person who does evil deeds. The same sisters and brothers who are being called fake Muslims, they're doing evil deeds. But subhanAllah, Allah wrote for them one day that they will be righteous. So then one day they start to be righteous and they're no longer doing evil deeds, they're doing good deeds. And then they enter Jannah, they enter paradise. So you don't know what Allah is going to do with the person, keep that in mind. The person may be a sinner today. Today they're that way. You don't know what they're going, what they're going to be tomorrow. Allah is Al Alim. He is the All Knowing. Only Allah knows. So Alhamdulillah, this is first to myself and then to you, brothers and sisters all around the world. Uh, Alhamdulillah, I love you all for the sake of Allah. Uh, may Allah guide us. May Allah forgive us. Amin. Inshallah, keep uh, keep in touch, keep in tune to the videos. Inshallah Taala. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. See y'all soon, inshallah.